visiting Kenya. That's actually our honeymoon. Yes. Oh, okay. so, uh, uh, we want to, uh, I'd never been to Africa and uh, it seemed like a diverse country and so much to see and the people are so friendly. Welcome to Kenya. Welcome to Kibera Tours. Kibera Tours is a, a local uh, tour company that uh, does most of the tours in Kibera. I was uh, uh, thinking about this quite a time mm -hmm. because I didn't want to do like poverty uh, tourism mm -hmm. but as uh, most of the money goes to the people of Kibera and this is also something to open the eyes of the, of the foreigners, of the tourists here. Uh, Kenya is not only uh, the coast with the pretty beaches, it's also uh, like uh, a poor par uh, part of the country so I think uh, if you want to really get an impression, we have to get an impression of the how the country really is. Uh, this belongs uh, together. What do you think about the moral thing, uh, you know, of the Kibera tours, like guiding people through the Kibera and showing the poverty? I mean, I, I don't feel like I'm going to a zoo or being invasive in, in such a way. I don't feel like I am. Maybe I am, but I think um, even though there's maybe that risk of, of people being offended that I'm coming to see where they live and, and how they live, I think it's so important because without the knowledge, I think there's, it's, there's no way to help. Nearby the Kibera, uh, Kibera is the biggest slum of uh, of Africa, and uh, it's second largest slum in the world. So now we are having uh, the tour to Kibera with, uh, with these guys, with Freddy and with the Richard. He's behind me over there, and uh, we have one German tourist. He's really curious to. Uh, to see uh, how the people live here and uh, what is it about. So let's see how the Kibra looks like and what is interesting here. It's really important to see all sides of a, a country and I think that a lot of times, at least Americans, they only go to the, the very nice places and they don't realize that there are many other places in a country to see and so we just went on the internet to see and we found Kibera Tours fortunately and so that's why we did it because you know you have to see all sides of the city. Now we are on the main road. Um, which leads through Kibera and um, it's a very important road because um, many buses crossing here and the people are waiting here to get to get uh, to their jobs uh, which is in the center because many people from Kibera are working in the center through Toy Market. Toy Market is an open air market that uh, sells second hand clothes, uh, properties, or uh, new products. It has different streets that uh, sells different items or different products. For example, we have um, streets that sell uh, the, the second hand clothes, we have streets that sell uh, 
new clothes, we have street that sells shoes, we have cereals, we have the, the vegetables and everything like that. You never know yourself, you never understand yourself if someone does not tell you. Yeah? There are things you know about yourself, but then you depend on other people to tell you who you are and sometimes what they see you to be like. So, with the idea in our minds, uh, we met one lady uh, from Holland and uh, she was like, can, we, can you take me through Kibera at least just like a tour? The issue of Kibera tours now came in, that we can do the, the tours and through the tours, we co-fund these uh, projects that we visit. We visit. And then the issue was, how do we do our marketing, or how do we get ourselves globally? The next point of visit is the Matunza Children's Center. Matunza Children's Center is a center and incorporated for the school and an orphanage. In the center, at the moment, it holds 305 orphans. Among them, uh, a quarter of them being uh, total orphans that entirely depend on the center. But the three quarters depend on, uh, on the, uh, their relatives, though during the day they come, uh, have every meal, their first break, uh, the lunch, and the early dinner at 6 p.m. Why you decided to take a tour through the Kibera? Because uh, I'm here with my family to adopt a child. This child was abandoned in a place pretty similar to Kibera. Uh, we don't have the chance to go there, but uh, we definitely get an impression here uh, how the situation is, why people do uh, like throw their children away, what has happened to our son. From Mumatunza, again, we'll be going through the streets to the next point, which is now the Power Women Shop. Okay, to forgive the people, it's okay because when they see the the foreigners coming to them, there are some feel res rescued because poverty rate in Kibera is very high. We have a lot of problem in Kibera. Small girls have engaged themselves in prostitution, and when these people come and see that the people suffering, like the girls and the youth, they come, they talk to them, then they feel they can assist somewhere. So they don't have problem in seeing the foreigners coming to them. They feel that it, when they come, there's a rescue for them. Our oh, Women's Shop is a, a group of 20 women that are living HIV positive, but they decided to say no to dependency. Therefore, they do some artwork, some crafts, to at least have themselves uh, sustain their daily needs, or their life uh, needs. They have families that they support. We normally open this shop from 8 to 5 every day, from Monday to Saturdays. On Sundays, we go to church, and uh, we sell throughout the month and we deposit the money into our account. At the end of the month, we sit down as a group, and then we see how much we've sold, and then we, we send the signatories to go and withdraw the money which the group has decided to be withdrawn. We come back and sit down as a group again and budget with the money. We put money aside for materials so that we can continue producing more products. We put money aside the, for food and the remaining money we divide among ourselves so that we can get money to pay rent, buy food and pay school fees.